Brett Reed and Chase Molinex represent the three individual events out of eight events you guys qualified to state this year. I imagine that there's a lot more expectation this year, especially someone like you. Brett, you've been there three years in a row. You won the medal last year. Just what's what's on your mind right now as you prepare for your last trip to the, well, I mean, you go there for state, but your last trip to the Drake Relays at the Blue Oval. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to go and run my race. I know I'm have some good competition there. Um, but, you know, bottom line is I know I can go do, I'll do some great things there in both my races. I'm hoping just to go run my race and um, see what, see what make, make some things happen there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully come back with some medals. We know you're not a guy who really ex accepts anything beyond, other than the best. Yeah. So, uh, your times this year, you feel like maybe Drake is where you're going to have a breakout? Because it seems like they've been sort of average, maybe a little bit above average, and maybe you need the competition to sort of bring out yeah. your best. Yeah, yeah, I'm, um, I'm kind of been off and on this year. But, you know, I think part of that is, you know, I've had some races beforehand that's kind of worn me out. But, you know, the competition there is going to be great for me to uh, run my time for my race. But other than that, I think uh, it's be a good meet for me to go pop off good time. Chase, obviously this was a goal for you this year, and you're coming in with the fifth best time in the, the state. I mean, I'm sure you expected to be in the mix, but that high up in the rankings this year, a little bit of a surprise to you? It was a little bit of a surprise, but then again, I've had a full season to train. I've been healthy all year. I've gotten a lot stronger, so to run that, I'm happy with my time so far, and hopefully I can go and prove that this week. So for someone like you also, when you, when you come in in that position, is it sort of metal or, or bust, or what do you want to get accomplished this first trip and an individual qualification uh, definitely a medal but just also to take the opportunity to run against guys that maybe i won't be able to have state and it's just the best competition in all four classes coming together so it'll be good how about this accomplishment for you guys as a group this is a school record i think by quite a few events and drake's had a high school portion for i think since like the 1930s so it's been 80 years atlantic's been out, had the opportunity to qualify this many events you guys are the team that's Set, set the record. Put that in perspective. What does that, what, what does that say about you guys as a group, or what, what, it, what does it mean for the, the history of this team? You know, I think uh, this year we qualified eight events, and I think our previous record was four. So you know, it kind of just shows the the talent potential we have all around with all of our guys. We've got a lot of talent, and you know, the sprint group got a lot of great 400 runners, great 200 runners, uh, great 800 runners. Um, but you know. I think it's a great accomplishment for us to, you know, double our number of events taken. Mm -hmm. You guys are both going to be on a three uh, relays for you and two for you, Grad. Is there one that's your, your favorite to run out of the schedule? Um, I, I'd probably say the, the 4x2 or the 4x4, both what I'm in. I like the 4x2. I like running that uh, the opening curve on the, the 4x2. is probably one of my stronger parts of my race. But, you know, the 4x4 is a great race to run, too. So. I'd say our distance medley, just because we came in with a hot time and just run against those guys, I think we can improve a little bit better because back when we ran that time, we really had no one to run with. We were chasing people from behind. And then mm -hmm. uh, probably our 4x4, four four too, just because we have a bunch of great 400 runners that can go 49, so we have the potential to bust a big time and be at the top of the leaderboard. Tell me about your guys as teammates also. You don't get five relays to Drake without a bunch of quality guys like Dylan and Zade and Zeke and... Craig Allen, just what what about this group this year? What about those guys that allowed you guys to be in this position? Well, just uh, every guy comes to practice this, with the championship mindset and that we have to get better. I think just having people to push every day, you don't come to practice and be like, oh, I don't really want to practice today. We come to practice every day to get better. Yep, there's like you said, guys pushing each other. Zade's up there with me in the workouts. You know, Craig Allen's been a great freshman for us. You know, he's, he's pushing Chase and Jackson and our whole four by eight and, you know, Tyler Mullen. Another guy I know that's in our former Tyler, yeah. got, dropped a really good time there too. So you know, we're all it's just that inner the inner team we compete at practice like Molnick said here, and it just gets us better for the big meets. Good luck this weekend, guys. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you. you.